Good morning, my name is Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest, and today I'm at property address 3634, Southeast 38th Avenue here in Portland, Oregon. We're located in the uh, basement of the home. It's a basement slash garage. There's the garage entrance. Right at the base of the stairs is a four inch cast iron clean out. This will be my point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have the sink running upstairs. Here we go. Okay, here at 25 feet from the point of access, it transitions from 4 inch cast iron pipe to 6 inch terracotta. And all the uh, cast iron pipe looks great. Uh, unfortunately, right here at the transition, I can see root intrusion through the transitional joint as well as the joint just after the transition here. Uh, so I will mark that for a spot repair on the way back out as uh, roots generally grow to the point where they at some point will clog the sewer line. They've also compromised the joint by opening it up so they can't allow water to leak out into the ground and cause erosion issues. So there's, there's multiple issues uh, along with the roots. Which is why uh, I don't recommend trimming them very often as they uh, always grow back. I'm going to keep going here. And it transitions from terracotta to six inch concrete here at 27 feet. And it switches back to 6 inch terracotta here at 44 feet. Okay, here at 46. 47 feet. Uh, I'm unable to get the camera to go any further. It's running into some sort of obstruction and my camera just will not pop over the top of it. So I'm going to get the water drained out uh, so we have a better uh, picture of what's going on here. Okay, the line is mostly really drained out at this point and I've let the water kind of settle here. You can see there's root strands in the pipe so it looks like there's probably a really large root intrusion coming through the joint. And again, this is the furthest out point I'm going to be able to get to, unfortunately, as the, uh, the roots are keeping my camera from going any further. So I'm going to go locate this. I did uh, already locate it while the camera was uh, paused, and it appeared to be out in the street. But I'm going to get a uh, depth and uh, exact location for you. I'll mention that in just a moment. And because this is out in the road, I recommend contacting the city, as the, uh, si the, any pipe out in the street is generally the uh, responsibility of the city to fix. Okay, I did successfully locate the camera head here at the root intrusion. It's seven feet deep, and we're about uh, two and a half, three feet out into the street on Southeast 38th Avenue. So I would recommend uh, submitting the video and report to the city, see if this is something we'll take care of. The city is doing a lot of sewer updates uh, right now, so they may be planning on fixing uh, the street anyway, or updating the street, but I'll have to contact them to find that out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start reeling back. I would recommend at some point during the repair, uh, well, and it will be a city responsibility, but just to make sure the rest of the sewer line from this point out is in good shape, there's still about 10, 15 feet of pipe left to scope that I can't get to. Okay, 
and now the water's drained. You can see that big old root uh, coming right through the bottom of the sewer pipe there. It's creating a nice dam, and uh, apart from it allowing water to possibly be leaking out into the ground, it's uh, creating a dam for debris to get stuck on, as you can see that piece of toilet paper there. And I wanted to point out the uh, concrete section here. I am uh, concerned about the integrity of this section of concrete pipe. You can see 360 degrees around, all the aggregate rock is showing through. That is essentially the uh, structure of the pipe. The mortar goes in between and, and holds on to the rocks. Um, and you can tell now that the, uh, a lot of the concrete has worn away and the line is now in uh, what we call an eggshell condition. The walls have thinned out uh, quite a lot. And at some point in the near future, likely, it will start deteriorating to the point where roots uh, can probably penetrate right through the side walls and you'll have pieces cracking off. That's something that um, you generally see probably in about five to ten years down the road. Um, over time, the concrete pipe does wear out. It has a lifespan. I'm going to keep rolling back. Okay, right here at 25 feet out is where we have the root intrusion through the transition joint as well as the joint just beyond the transition. I'm going to put the camera right here in the middle of the two and I'll locate and mark this. I'm going to mark it with a green T as this is the transition point from cast iron. And because of the condition of the line, um, there's a pretty good sized section of it that's in eggshell condition uh, and it's, it will very likely wear out in the near future. It's just at the final point of its lifespan. Um, and because there's, a, there's going to be a repair hole at either end of the sewer pipe on the property, now is the opportune time to update the sewer line and sleeve it. That would be my recommendation. And it will update the sewer pipe and uh, should be a real, pretty much a problem-free sewer line from that point on. It will be updated. So I, uh, I will mark the cast iron transition. And then I'll push out a little ways and do a couple markings in between, some green lines just showing the direction it runs. Okay, I did locate here the transition, marked it with a green T, and it's in the driveway. It's at 2 feet 5 inches deep. I was unable to get an accurate locate right here, and it's because part of the camera is in, in cast iron and part of it's in clay. So I pulled it back just to the transition and marked that. There's also an old cast iron uh, clean out right in the middle of the driveway. Um, which is pretty much right in line with this thing and this right here is the tie-in for it just before the transition uh, so that's also a good indicator of where the line's running I'm going to push out here to uh, 35 feet and do another marking uh, it'll be just a green line with arrows just showing the direction the pipe's running and I'll also put a depth here as well so pretty dang shallow in the driveway only 2 feet 5 inches deep but by the time you get to the street it's about 7 Okay, I did a marking here at 35 feet. Uh, it's a whole repair that I'm recommending is mapped out now across property. That's everything the homeowner is responsible for. And then a little bit of it is out into the street uh, where the root intrusion is at. So uh, part of it I'm hoping is responsibility of the city, which is the root intrusion uh, out at 47 feet where I couldn't get past. Um, and there, yeah, everything from the, the uh, cast iron transition out to the curb is mapped out for uh, being sleeved, which is uh, my recommendation. And now is, uh, again, the ideal time to do it as a repair is already needed at either end of the uh, pipe on property. Uh, and so the, the money is better, well, is much better spent in sleeving the pipe than to just dig two holes and repair a tiny section of sewer pipe. I'm going to go ahead and roll the camera all the way back out.